Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Super excited to share this with you today. This has arrived in the post. It's the brand new Chronicle Collectibles Jurassic Park Hammond's Amber Cane. So without further ado, let's get this thing out of the box and take a closer look. So I've reviewed many Amber Canes over the years on the channel. I'll put links to all of them down below. We've had Rylos, we've had Gavin Robinsons, we've even had one by a company called spaceart.de, which was my first one, and that will pop up later in the video for comparison. This one is the only cane replica that claims to have lineage back to the original screen used prop. There's some debate as to how close it is to the screen used prop. Many believe this was cast off a promotional cane that was given to people who were selling the VHS, vendors of the VHS uh, back in the 90s, but that it in itself did have lineage back to a production used cane. So I'm really interested to see this replica. And it's great to have something that goes back to the original screen used piece and has that tangible connection to the production of Jurassic Park. So the artwork on this box is absolutely stunning. You can see here it says creation is an act of sheer will. There's a lovely satin finish on the box. We've got this nice image of the cane down one side with a little blurb about John Hammond's cane. The logo on it is great. I just love the kind of distinguished and classy look to this box. Opening up this long clamshell polystyrene packaging, we can see the cane itself and a wall bracket attachment so you can hang your cane from the wall with a Jurassic Park logo, which is really nice. Cane comes wrapped in this baggie with silica gel to stop moisture from creeping in. And on first impressions, the paint job looks really nice. If I just remove one of those silica gels, you can see the hanging there. And there's the Universal Studios logo, which I knew was going to have to be on the cane somewhere, but I'm just glad it's not debossed on the actual cane, it's just printed. This being Universal's first official licensed cane replica, they had to put their trademark on it somewhere. And here is the amber cane out of the packaging. You have a faux mosquito in a resin amber egg, a really nicely weathered cane, and a rubber tip ferrule, just like the screen used prop. And I have to be honest, this is probably the best thing Chronicle have made so far. For me, as a fan of Jurassic Park, this is really on point. I've seen the screen used prop at Universal Studios and this is so close to the real thing. The fact they've used an artificial mosquito is much more humane, but you can notice the difference. If you look at the legs here, you can see that the legs look like they're made of thread. They've got sort of like a very soft curve to them. Apart from that, you've got the grooves here on the lip of the cane, which are actually found on the screen use piece. I've been contacted by owners of original screen use canes and they tell me that this flat is present on the screen use piece. And actually, if you see Hammond when he's turning the amber cane, you can see the flat really distinctively on one side, which tells me that they've even cast the egg from a production use piece. The cane is not perfectly round. You can see here, as I turn it around, it flattens somewhat. And that is true to the production use cane. You can see the scoring is lessened on this side where they've had to sand back a seam line. I've seen this flatness most prominently on those universal promotional canes. And I believe it was due to a molding and casting process when they were replicating so many of this prop piece. Moving on to the plaque, which is a really nice weighty piece made from polystone. On the back, we've got the people who made this happen. We've got Chronicle Collectibles and Paradise Nine, the distributors. And this is unit 106 of 1000. So only 1000 are being made of this prop replica. On the back, we've got a hole for a little hook or a screw so you can attach it to your wall. And the front is really nicely painted. You can see we've got this really nice burnished gold effect. And I like the way it feathers off towards the bottom of the logo there. You can see the Jurassic Park lettering, really faithful and really nicely painted. I really do like this. We've got this little arm attachment which you can hang the cane from. It's made of metal and is quite sharp. Now with it being made of metal and being quite sharp, it can damage the cane and you have to be really gentle when inserting the cane into the holder. And I find I have to put the narrow side in first and it won't fit with the wider part of the neck of the cane. Once attached to the plaque, it does look really nice. I'm just laying it out on the floor so you can get an idea of what it will look like. But it does look really nice. The only thing is it occludes the Jurassic Park logo slightly. So 
So for comparison, here is the first replica cane I ever featured on Jurassic Collectibles. It's made by a company called spaceart.de. They went out of production years ago, uh, but let's put these two side by side for comparison. You can see they're fairly close. The strength is the main thing. The spaceart.de doesn't bend, but the Chronicle cane does bend and flex. So I wouldn't use the Chronicle cane as a real life cane. Um, it's obviously intended just for show and doesn't have a central shaft running down the middle. My old replica was missing a rubber tip, which I've still been meaning to get all these years. And you can see as you turn the cane, it's perfectly round, whereas the new Chronicle one is actually flattened. The other thing that my old replica boasts is a real mosquito. And it does actually have the flatness of the amber egg, but unfortunately it has glue visible, whereas the Chronicle does not. In terms of scale, the cane overall measures about 34 inches long. And in terms of the thickness, at the thickest point, it's just under two inches wide. The plaque is about six inches tall. And in terms of the width, you're looking at about five and a half inches. So there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this close up look at the brand new Hammond's Amber Cane replica from Chronicle Collectibles. This is a fantastic replica. Chronicle have knocked it out of the park, and as I said, I think this is the best thing they've produced so far. Not only that, but they've allowed fans to connect with a tangible piece of production history. This is the closest they're going to get to owning a real Jurassic Park Amber Cane, and I think that is fantastic and well worth celebrating. So, out of a possible 10 gold blooms, I give this Amber Cane replica a solid 10 gold blooms.